Isaac and Abimelech. There was a bad time in the country where Isaac lived. There was no food. There was no water. Isaac went to see Abimelech, the king of Gerar. He was Abraham's friend. God told Isaac not to go to Egypt. He must stay in Gerar. He would bless Isaac and all his family there. Isaac's father, Abraham, had loved and obeyed God. Isaac loved and obeyed God too. Isaac told a lie. He told the men of Gerar that Rebekah was his sister. Rebekah was very pretty. He thought they would kill him if they knew she was his wife. One day Abimelech saw Isaac kissing Rebekah. He knew then that she was Isaac's wife. He was very cross. He asked Isaac to come and see him. He said, Why did you tell a lie? Rebecca is your wife, not your sister. You are very silly. Somebody else could have married Rebecca. Abimelech said nobody must hurt Isaac and Rebecca. Isaac planted corn and there was a good harvest. He became very rich. Lots of people did not like this. They filled up the wells. Abimelech told Isaac to move away. They went to live in Beersheba. Abraham had lived there. Isaac knew God was with him and he was safe. God came to Isaac one night. God said, I am the God of your father Abraham. I am with you. I will bless you and all your family. Isaac thanked God. Abimelech came to see Isaac. They became friends again. God was with Isaac. But Esau and his wives were not friends with Isaac and Rebekah. Isaac blesses Jacob. Isaac was very old. He was blind. He asked Esau to come to see him. Esau came to his father. Isaac said, I am an old man now. Soon I will die. Go out hunting. Kill a goat. Cook it for me to eat. Then I will bless you before I die. Rebekah heard what Isaac said. Esau went out to hunt. Then Rebekah told Jacob. She told him to bring a goat and kill it. She cooked it. She told Jacob to take it to Isaac. Then he would get Esau's blessing. Esau had hairy arms. Jacob had smooth arms. Rebecca put a goatskin on Jacob's arms. Then his arms were hairy like Esau's arms. Jacob put Esau's coat on. He went to Isaac with the meal. Jacob told his father that he was Esau. He told a lie. Isaac said, You have killed this goat and cooked it. How have you been so fast? Jacob told a lie again. He said that God helped him. Then Isaac felt Jacob's arm. He said, Your arm is hairy like Esau's arm, but you sound like Jacob. Jacob kissed his father. He gave him the food. Isaac smelt the coat. 
It was Esau's coat. So Isaac thought it was Esau. He blessed Jacob. A little while afterwards Esau came to Isaac. He had killed a goat and cooked it. Isaac said, Who are you? Esau said, I am your son Esau. Here is the meal you asked for. Then Isaac knew Jacob had lied to him. Jacob had got Esau's blessing. Esau was very cross. He wanted to kill Jacob. Jacob runs away to Laban. Rebekah told Jacob to run away to his uncle Laban. He could come back when Esau was not cross anymore. Isaac blessed Jacob. He told him to go to Laban to find a wife. He did not want him to have a wife from Canaan. Esau was cross. He married a woman from Canaan. She was one of Ishmael's daughters. Jacob's Dream at Bethel Jacob left Beersheba and his family. He stopped for the night at a place called Luz. He went to sleep. He had a stone for a pillow. He had a dream. He saw a ladder. It went from the ground up to heaven. He saw angels. He saw the Lord. The Lord said, I am the Lord. I am the God of your grandfather, Abraham. I will give this land to you and your family. You will have lots of children. You will fill the land. All the people in the world will be blessed by you. I will be with you all the time. I will go where you go. I will bring you back to this land. I will help you. I will keep my promises to you. Jacob woke up. He knew he had seen and heard God. He praised and thanked God. He called the place Bethel. Bethel means God's house. God was very good to Jacob. Jacob promised God would be his God. He promised always to give God presents. Jacob meets Laban. Jacob left Bethel. Soon he came to a well. Some shepherds came to the well. They came to get water for their sheep. Jacob asked them where they lived. They said, We live in Haran. The shepherds knew Laban and his family. Laban had a daughter called Rachel. She came to the well with her sheep. Jacob told Rachel who he was. He was one of her family too. He was Rebekah's son. Rachel was pleased. She ran home to tell her father, Laban. Laban was pleased. He ran to meet Jacob. He was very pleased to see Jacob. Jacob went home with Laban. He worked for him. Jacob gets married. Laban had two daughters. Leah was the oldest. She was not pretty. Rachel was the youngest. She was very pretty. Jacob loved Rachel. He wanted to marry her. Jacob said to Laban, Let me marry Rachel. 
I will work for you for seven years. Laban said yes. Jacob worked for seven years. The time went quickly. Then Jacob asked for Rachel. Laban had a party. But he gave Leah to marry Jacob. Jacob was very cross. Laban said the oldest daughter must always get married first. Jacob worked for another seven years. Then he married Rachel.